Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 29th of 2022 well, it is titled Dart Asteroid Impact from Space. So what do we see here? Well, this is a single image showing part of the asteroid impact, which occurred several days ago. And in fact, this is taken from out in space in the vicinity of the asteroid itself. Now, how did it do that if the impact destroyed the spacecraft that smashed into the asteroid and would have then been destroyed? Well, before it did that, it actually launched a little satellite to be able to record images of the mission. And this is one of those frames of an image that was provided here. So we see the two asteroids here, the one asteroid, the larger one, which is Didymus. That is the larger asteroid and the smaller asteroid, the one that was impacted was Dimorphos. And that one was crashed into and here we can see the result of that explosion and material being expelled out into space just a few minutes after the impact occurred. Now the idea of this impact was to be able to see if we could affect the orbit of the asteroid. The smaller asteroid Dimorphos actually orbits around Didymus and it is we by hitting it that would affect its orbit and we want to see if it was changed by the predicted amount that if we could actually nudge a satellite and change its orbit very slightly by some kind of impact. And the whole idea is that there are many asteroids out there and a good number of them will cross the path of Earth Earth's orbit. So every once in a while we do have asteroids of decent size that come and will strike Earth. So the idea is that if we know of one early enough, could we use some kind of impact to divert the asteroid in space? And if we could change its orbit, we don't need to change it a lot. A small change would actually be sufficient for it to be able to just change its orbit and just miss Earth. So if we catch it far enough away, it's only a very minor change that is needed in its orbit and it could miss miss Earth by a wide margin. However, the closer it gets to Earth, the harder it is to see. So in addition to this kind of technology that we're trying to develop, we also have to track the asteroids out there so that we can try to map out when they will potentially hit Earth. Now this is not necessarily an easy thing to do because the orbit of an asteroid is affected by many things. We've already seen here that we're trying to affect it by an impact. And of course, if asteroids were to collide with another, that could change its orbit a little bit and affect our predictions. In addition, passing in the vicinity of some of the planets could also affect the orbits. So there are a lot of things that need to be taken into account but it is something important because we know that massive impacts have occurred in the past and have caused significant damage here on Earth. And we can guarantee that at some point in the future, whether it be a hundred or a thousand or a million years from now, very massive impacts will occur again. So if we're able to predict this, we would be able to further push away uh, possibly push away an asteroid, just deviate its orbit enough to have it avoid striking Earth. So that was our picture of the day for September 29th of 2022. It was titled Dart Asteroid Impact from Space. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be 24 sunrises. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.